my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 74 in this lecture we will try to understand skewness with the help of one simple demonstration i will continue same demonstration with other data set that is time series data set in lecture number 75 in lecture number 76 i will discuss complete theory about skewness time being just we will try to understand skewness with the with the help of pandas what is skewness i can say in simple words it is it is an abs absence of symmetry extreme values in one side of a distribution that is known as uh, skewness anyway i will i will discuss about skewness in detail manner in lecture number 76 as i told you i will discuss a simple demonstration demonstrations on skewness in lecture number 74 and in 75 let me go to my jupiter notebook now we will try to understand skewness with the, with simple uh, example this uh, and this libraries you know what is this libraries which we discussed from last few classes i think i need not explain these libraries let me proceed further again this same data set which is downloaded from kaggle website this is sc 500 underscore person underscore gender underscore height underscore weight underscore index dot csv this file is also available in my google site just you can download from my google site otherwise you can download from kaggle website let me proceed further just i am displaying height underscore weight underscore data head 5 means i am displaying first five records 0 1 2 3 4 this i need not discuss i i, I am dropping uh, index column as i am not going to use that index column in place equal to true access equal to 1 index means that particular column will be dropped even if you want you can check the size of the particular data frame 500 by 3 means the, originally there are four columns gender height weight index now index is dropped therefore now you have only three columns that's what it says 500 rows and three columns it's, it's not new thing isn't it now our intention is to understand skewness what is this how can i understand let us visualize our height and weight data in the form of a probability distribution i will plot a kde curve to see whether this distribution looks skewed or not now the distribution does not uh, let me uh, let me display the distribution first just see this code height underscore weight underscore data height dot plot kind is equal to kde means what you are going to plot kde curve i am giving title as height fig size is 12 comma 8 12 this i already explained many times what is this fig size therefore just let me display kde curve for heights therefore what does it mean just observe this carefully if you observe this one just see otherwise let me minimize this one so that uh you may visualize it completely yes just see now okay yes just see this curve this curve if you carefully observe this curve it, is it really skewed it, it is not skewed isn't it uh, we can say that it, it may not be skewed means it, it, uh, is it really true or not we will check it out after few seconds just time being just have an idea this is the kde curve for height in the height and weight data frame yes uh, according to this geometrical figure according to this distribution curve according to this kde curve i can say it is not skewed we will verify 
whether it is queued or not after few seconds. In similar manner, let me plot KDE curve for weight. Just see, uh, let just see this curve. This is height underscore weight underscore data. Weight dot plot kind equal KDE. Means here I am plotting. Here I am plotting. Just if you want to see the code, let me increase the size. Just you can see this one as usual. Uh, yes, just see this one. What what it says? This code is simple. Just see height underscore weight underscore data of weight dot plot just see this code plot kind equal to what it says plot kind equal to kde title equal to weight fix size is this one now let me execute this one if you execute if you execute what will you get you will get kde curve for weight this weight is in let me re, uh, reduce the size so that you can visualize that particular output uh, in complete manner. Just see this curve again, this KDE curve for weight. Again, this curve is, seems to be not skewed. We will verify, is it really skewed or not? How can I verify? Just see here. Yes, just one minute, let me increase the size. Yes. Now, how can I check that one? Just see this one, height underscore, weight underscore, data. This one is height dot skew means this particular skew function it is useful to calculate skew of the height column in which data frame height underscore weight underscore data let me execute this sample code what you are getting minus 0 0.1219 what does it mean is it not very very small value i can say uh, the skewness in our height data is slightly negative so small as to be almost negligible a value of zero indicates no skew it is almost zero therefore that's why this height if you if you observe that height kde curve just see this height kde it's it's not skewed that's why it's getting dot sk dot skew means you are getting which value minus zero point one two one nine one three it's a very very small value isn't it in similar manner let me let me construct let me let me calculate skew value for weight column also what you are getting here you are getting minus zero point zero three again it is very small value therefore i can say therefore just see this weight kd curve also it's not having skewness geometrically as minus zero point zero three seven six is all, almost negligible isn't it therefore i can say there are uh, they are not skewed curves uh, means uh, the data present in height underscore weight and score data data frame which data data present under height column even data present under weight column they are not skewed data almost they are uh, they, neither they are right skewed nor they are left skewed almost they are not skewed just they have got small value as q value maybe it may be little bit skewed over anyway which side it is skewed what is it i will discuss in lecture number 76 time being just understand that they are not skewed curves as their skew value is very very less almost negligible now what what will i do just let me introduce out layers this out layer concept i already discussed in my previous lecture just see this one what am i doing here mail this is first uh, record mail 401 this is height 304 kgs this is weight 658 height 372 kgs weight 200 the all these are uh, of uh, means uh, 411 kgs means maybe it's almost a female uh, 411 kgs means it, it may not practically it may not correct isn't it now i am introducing out layers first row second row third row fourth fifth, sixth i am i am going to add six more rows to the existing height underscore weight data how can i add this one just see this one just this is this is list of series i think i need not explain this i already discussed this this type of out layers in my previous class just see height underscore weight underscore data this is my original data frame the, this is my pandas object for which i appended which one am am i appending this one i am i, I am appending list of series i am appending what is that list of series uh, after appending just if you want just you can 
tail means what? Tail means it will display last five records. One, two, three, four, five. But I added six records, but I am displaying last five record means which one will it display? This last five female, female, male, female, male. This, these last five records are added. They are appended at the end of the frame. This is the, the, the uh, now I, I added out layers. After adding out layers, let me construct the histogram so that whether out layers added or not to check whether out layers are added or not. Just check this one. Just if you see, if you, if you observe carefully, what is the histogram? It is the histogram for heights. What values we added for heights? Just observe this one. For heights, we added 401, 658, 200. These are the values. Just you, you can check those values. Even if you want, uh, even if you want, you can check. How can I check these values? Let me uh, let me try to identify these values again. Let me go back and show you what are the outlier values for height. Just see, this is 401. This is 658. Just remember, 200 and 203, 772. 881. Now let me show all those outlier values in corresponding histogram. Just remember this is 401. Is it visible? Just uh, this one. This one is this one is 401. Again 658. This is almost 658. Uh, its uh, next one is uh, 772. This is 772. 881. What is 881? This is 881, isn't it? These are outlier values. They are clearly visible, isn't it? Now, what does it mean? We added outlier values. We visualized with the help of histograms. We constructed histogram. Just see, we constructed histogram for which for updated heights underscore height underscore weight underscore updated means after adding outlier values. You are constructing height plot kind equal to hist means you are constructing histogram with the 100 bins title is height this one. Anyway, this spelling you can write title H E I G S T. Anyway, it does not matter. Anyway, it's title. It will not make any difference that you can understand. Let me do same thing for weight. What happens in the case of weight? Just see height underscore weight underscore update weight dot plot kind equal to hist means again i am going to construct a histogram from for weights as i calculated histogram for height now i am calculating histogram for weights now what happens if you observe carefully just see on right hand side these are the values just i uh, maybe it's visible i am just see this mouse pointer this mouse, this mouse pointer, just say this one here. Here you have outlier values. If you want, you can check this weight values, those values which are added, uh, uh, added as a, if you, even if you want, you can go back and you can check. Just let me show weights which we are added as outlier values. Just see. 304, 372, 411, 391, just remember 211, 204. These are the outlier values, isn't it? For what? For weight, just see. 304 this is 304 isn't it next 372 maybe yes this is 372 411 yes this is 411 in that manner certainly you can understand this outliers with the help of histograms anyway let me construct again kde curve if i construct now i'm constructing just see height underscore weight underscore update height dot plot kind equal to kde means i am for updated, updated in the sense after adding the outliers, I am constructing KDE curve. Just see, this is the KDE curve. If you observe carefully, it is on right hand side, you have long tail, isn't it? It seems that it is right skewed. Yes, outliers is worked, isn't it? This one, just see, right hand side, you have long tail. Therefore, I can say it is right skewed. In similar manner, same KD curve, let me construct for weight. In earlier case, we constructed for height. Now, I am constructing same height underscore, just see code, height underscore, weight underscore, updated, weight, plot, kind equal to KD, title equal to weight, fig size equal to, of course, title, um, it, uh, I, it's not, it will not, title, whichever name you want, you can keep. Just if you construct your KD curve again, it is, it is, again, it is also right skewed curve for weight also, but there is a slight uh, shape. If you observe shape of the KD curve for height and uh, for weight, there is slight difference. 
maybe I can write H E I G H T, isn't it? Let me write I. Yes, maybe uh, anyway, its title it will not make any difference. Even if you write some sort of spelling mistakes, just let me run. Therefore, what's happening here? Just see, you are getting height. In similar manner here also, I can change. This is W E I Z H T, isn't it? Spelling. Anyway, its title it will not uh, make any difference. This is title. Uh, this is weight uh, histogram. Uh, sorry, his uh, weights KDE curve. If you observe these two KDE curves, I constructed KDE curve. Otherwise, let me minimize screen so that you may see it more with uh, with so, with some sort of clarity. Just see this. This is the K. This is the KDE curve. For what? For height. Just see for height. Again, I construct. Uh, this is a KDE curve after adding outliers. It is just it is right skewed. You have a right tail, long right tail, isn't it? Let me show weight also. This is the KDE curve for updated weight. Means after adding out, it seems it's also uh, right skewed. Now you can check this one by calculating skew values. You can verify it. How can I how can I calculate these skew values as we discussed? Uh, uh, in previous case, how can I calculate it? It is simple and straightforward. Just height underscore weight underscore updated. Updated means after adding that outliers height dot skew. I am calculating skew value. Therefore, you are getting 10.666 means it's right skewed. If you are getting positive skew value means it's right skewed. Anyway, in lecture number 76, I will discuss in detail theory about it. In similar manner, let me calculate skew for weight. If I calculate skew for weight, still you are getting positive number. Therefore, it is right skewed value. I must tell thanks to our outliers. Why? Because before adding outliers, they are symmetrical curves. Means there is no skewness. Their skewness value is almost negligible. In my next lecture, I will take a data file uh, known as SP500 underscore 1987.csv. Uh, this is a file. Uh, I will discuss about this file. This is a financial data. I can say this is time series data. We will try to discuss same skewness concept on financial data in my next lecture that is in lecture number 75. Just go through this lecture uh, means that is lecture number 74. If you have any doubt just keep a comment so that we will try to and we will I will try to discuss. Thank you very much.